Two years ago, nine-year-old Michaela Brent was killed in a drive-by shooting in Sacramento's Del Paso neighborhood. Today, the community remains haunted by this and troubled by the city's response or lack thereof. Joining us now, ABC 10's Monica Coleman explaining the fallout. Also joining, joining us, Devin Truby with more on a recent measure from the city of Sacramento that aims to curtail youth violence. Monica, let's start with you. Well, imagine being a parent. You let your nine-year-old go to the park to play and they are shot and killed. That was the reality for nine-year-old Michaela Brent when she went to Mama Mark's Park two years ago. And now her killer will be in court today. But the people who live in Del Paso Heights tell me that the park has not been the same since her death. When you go to the park, it is a ghost town. Kids aren't at the blacktop. No one's on the playground and the pool is out of service. After Michaela Brent's killing in 2020, the city promised investments in the Little Paso Heights neighborhood, including much needed renovations, youth programs, plus lights and cameras in the park. Ernesto Guerrero has lived in the Del Paso Heights neighborhood all of his life and says many don't feel safe coming to Mama Mark's Park and he has yet to see any of the city's promises come to fruition. My homie lives right here down the way and he has two uh, younger than teen daughters, and I don't ever see him let them, let them come over here. He let alone even out the gate. New cameras are up in Mama Marks Park in Del Paso Heights following the shooting as the Sacramento City Council promised. I reached out to City Council member Sean Lololi, who represents the district, but he did not respond. Other calls, the city officials referred me to him.